Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some activities you can do with your toddlers. These are probably for ages 19 to 21 months for that developmental stage, but if you have a toddler of a different age, these are still probably good. You might just have to adjust them a little bit, but I also have many other toddler activities and preschooler activities um, videos, so I'll link some of them in the description below if you are looking for a different age, but hopefully you enjoy some of these and give you some new ideas for your little one. So up first is sticking pom-poms to a wall. What I did here was I took a piece of duct tape so that it had some nice stick and I spread it across the wall. And then to stick it on the wall, I did masking tape so that it didn't actually ruin my walls. I gave her a little cup of pom-poms and let her just stick them to the tape. Then she could take them off and re-stick as however many times she wanted. Another activity with pom-poms is sorting by color. They're really into sorting at this developmental stage, so it's a really good activity to do with them. I took just a half of an egg carton and I painted each of the sections a different color of pom-poms that I had. I gave her a little tub of pom-poms and then she just started to try to sort them by color. The next activity is one to help them with their visual skills and their following skills. So for the first level of this activity, I have three different colored bowls, or you could use cups, and I place a ball under one. And then I have her, you know, mix them up and have her try to follow the ball and see where it is. This one, obviously, if she remembers the color it was in, that's much easier for her, but it's a good place to start. And once they've kind of mastered that and get the hang of it, then you can move to cups or bowls of all the same color so that they actually have to make sure they are tracking the cup. And it might be a little tricky for them at first, but as they get the hang of it and learn to track with their eyes, then they should be able to get it and it will become really, really exciting for them. So this is a really fun game to play with them. The next activity is putting toothpicks in a spice jar. Depending on where they're starting, you can use a spice jar with bigger holes or smaller holes, ones that drop through or ones that stick to the top. Once you pick your jar, then you can give them the jar with a little thing of toothpicks and just let them try to stick it in there. You may have to demonstrate this for them first so that they can see what they wanna do, but once they get the hang of it, this usually keeps them entertained for a, quite a while. I would say, you know, you might want to supervise this task because toothpicks can be sharp and, you know, could potentially hurt someone. So make sure that they are um, being watched. Another fun activity for this age is a flashlight play. And I picked up one that's just like a mini one so that it was more her size. And she just likes to put it on the floor, put it on the walls, see the different, you know, shapes that it can make if you put it close or bring it backwards and just shine it around the room and track it. So this is definitely something really good for this age. Another great activity for this age is a busy book. And by that, I just mean a little book full of different things. She's on the transportation page right now. And basically they can take Velcro pieces off and then put them back on. It's almost like matching. This is really good for learning at this age. I have a whole video on how I made this book and exactly what pages I have in this book. So if you don't have one and you're interested in making one, it's almost free to make. I mean, unless you have to buy a binder or some Velcro dots, but all these pages are completely free um, on different websites. So in that video, I will link it. Um, you can go see exactly what I have, how to get them for free, you know, where to print them off. It's such a good activity for this age. The next activity is to lay some masking tape on the floor in random patterns in however you want and just see what they do. Right now she saw it and just started running across it. Then she also liked to go on some of the straight lines and play balance beam. Honestly, one of her favorite things to do when we have this out is just to peel up the tape and you know practice the unsticking type of thing. And then she'll ball it up and then bring it all to the garbage. So, I mean, put enough down that if that's what they wanna do, it keeps them entertained for a little while. But this is just one of those, you know, kind of set it and forget it and let them do whatever they wanna do with it. 
My next idea is to get them started on practicing their pouring skills. This can be a little messy and obviously wet, so you may want to do it outside if the weather permits or maybe in the bathtub if it doesn't. I did it here because it was easiest to show you, but usually we would probably do it in the bathtub or outside. Um, basically just give them a couple of pitchers or teapots and cups and let them just practice that act of pouring from a one object into another. And speaking of water, another fun thing for them to do is paint with water. So you get rid of the messiness of the actual paint. Just give them, you know, a little pitcher of water to dunk their paintbrushes in um, or just, you know, a little pool or something that you have outside and let them paint with water on the driveway. You could also do this on a fence or anything, you know, porousy that shows the water. For the next activity, I took inventory of some of the little figurine animals we had and then found some realistic pictures online that matched them and printed them out, cut them into individual pictures, and then I used this to do a sorting type animal names practice type game. So I had, I laid them out, I gave her the animals, and then she matched the animal to each card. And I also did try to somewhat get her to say, you know, the name of the animal or the sound the animal made. And I did this with farm animals and domestic animals and that sort of thing too. Just anything that we had the figurines for. If you have a little one this age, you may have also noted they have started getting into buckles. So I wanted to share this little toy that I got from Amazon. It has um, a couple different buckle st styles and types on it. And she has really, really loved this toy at this age in practicing all her buckling. And to kind of go along with that, locks are another kind of fine motor thing she's really been interested in that we've been working on. So this puzzle by Melissa and Doug, I'll also link this one. It's, you know, you can get it from Amazon, has been another great one for her to work with to practice the locks. The next activity is rice transferring, kind of like the water transferring in the sense that it is getting them to try to practice, you know, getting one thing successfully from one container to another. This one is just a different medium, not quite as messy um, and is more solid than liquid. At this age, toddlers really want to start helping around the house. So doing things like having them help you throw away trash or wipe up spills, helping with the laundry, cleaning windows, peeling an egg, watering plants, all those things are really interesting to toddlers and it's a great habit to get into. So for this activity idea, have your little ones help you with whatever it is you're working on. Stacking and building are other great activities that I really like at this age. Two products that I really like that I will link, one is schoolies. They're more of a peg style stacking. So they go in little holes and then they can stack on top of each other as well. And you can use these um, just for free play and let them stack however they want. Or you can have them try to stack and sort by color, especially at this age, you know, as they're learning their colors. That's a great way to play with these. These also lace and they come with a string that you can lace them on. So that's another great way to use these. And then another um, great manipulative we like is Duplos. They are, you know, a little bit more tricky than the blocks that maybe you did at a younger age. They can start to stack. They can play with their imaginations with the little people. So Schoolies and Duplo are two that we really like at this age. And then the last activity I'll share with you today is songs with hand motions. You can tell she's doing head, shoulders, and knees, and toes right now. I'm a little teapot is a good one. Itsy Bitsy Spider, those sorts of things. It's something she really likes doing at this age. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this and got some new ideas. Have fun playing with those toddlers.